Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Semi Original Guy here, aka Mr. Cannon from Advanced Wars by Web, bringing you another live league game up to date. Today, we are on Skipping Stones. This is a standard matchup with Triple Base Airport and two comm towers on the map, folks. And it is a very interesting map because it is very isolated, <laughs> an incredibly isolated map. There are rivers going all the way through this map, and your armies can get cut off in an instant. And we are also joined here by Days of Plague and the Red James 5, two highly rated players in Advanced Wars by Web. Especially when it comes to the Live League, I know Red James is quickly approaching that number one position for overall wins, and Days of Plague has been playing a lot of Live League, and he's won a lot of good matches, folks. So these are two very, very good players indeed. Alright, so this is a tier 1 matchup, so we have Sasha and we have Javier. Now Sasha has a day to day ability, will get plus 100 funds per property owned, and her market crash ability will negate power bar charge to the opponent depending on how much funds she has, and the war bonds will give her additional money back when she does damage to the enemy. Now 99.999% of the time, you're probably going to be using Market Crash as Sasha. There is almost no reason to use War Bonds. So, you hardly ever see it. But we also have Javier. So, Javier is a very interesting CEO because his entire gimmick relies entirely on Calm Towers. So, as a day to day ability, he will get minus or a plus 20% defense boost to indirects, which is pretty good on its own. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, but in addition to that, he does get plus 10% offense and defense whenever he captures a comm tower. Now, he's got co-power, um, tower shield, which will, I think, like, double the comm tower bonus, and the super co-power will, like, triple the comm tower bonus. Um, so that's offense and defense. I think that's what it is. It's on screen, so check it out. Um... Yeah, so he's a pretty good CO. I think he's probably the best CO to uh, be put against Sasha, but on this map is kind of interesting because um, the comm towers could potentially be flipped to either side. So if Javier captures both comm towers, he's insanely broken. If Javier gets no comm towers, he is very bad <laughs> in comparison to Sasha. So this should be a good one, folks. This should be a good one. Um... I'm hoping we have a really good match here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, folks. So on day one, a two, and the three, we have our standard infantry builds, because you got to get the infantry on the field. If you don't, you're missing out on the number one priority in advance for by way, folks. Gotta get the infantry on the field. And both players are actually attacking their pipe scene with infantry, which is great. It's honestly great. So some players won't do this, but I mean, if you can just do passive, like, 1% damage whenever you're just standing by, fantastic. This pipe seam, well, actually, both pipe seams are really, really effective when they're broken, because this is a very, very quick reinforcement for this base right here, and this right here can make the difference between having your army trapped by an opposing two-base army and being able to get into the center. So you do want to be busting open both of those pipe seams at some point, if you can manage it, for sure. We got an arty build over here from the Days of Plague, a beautiful arty build. Let's get it on the field, folks. We are going to be busting open that pipe seam very, very quick. And the Red James, Red James, here we go, buddy. Look at this. We got a mech build and an artillery build. So we are going to be getting that busted open potentially one day quicker and Days of Plague. Unless Days of Plague decides to build a mech. <laughs> if he decides to build a mech also, then maybe he might get it busted open at around the same time, but we... we won't know. Now we know. He's got a mech. He's got the mech on the field, and he follows it up by a tank as well, which is fantastic. So neither players have gone for their airport yet. Uh, natural capture chain for this one usually goes here, here, then here. There's not really any reason to send an extra infantry down to the bottom to cap the airport a little bit quicker. Uh, you do kind of need your infantry on the front lines, especially on this side, because it's a one base versus two base. So if you're down at infantry over here, it's very, very easy to get overrun. So 
yeah, just designate one infantry to go in and capping that base and or that airport, and that is it. All right, both players are pushing up a little bit. Red James got a little bit of a lead, a little bit of a lead with this. His infantry is a little bit farther ahead right now, which is uh, very good, very good for the Red James. Uh, Days of Plague a little bit behind here, a little bit behind. He's not going to be able to capture this one. He could go and capture this one right here over in the corners. So, I mean, that's fantastic. That's great. It is what it is. But if you could capture that one before this infantry could interrupt you, that would be even better. But we are going to be seeing these pipe seams be busted open here pretty soon. Days of Plague going for one of those comm towers. Javier already has his comm tower. So he does have access to the 10, 10, plus 20% even direct. And on a map like this, it's actually kind of even nicer uh, to be Javier. Not too great for um, Sasha, but this map, since you kind of need a comm tower, or not a comm tower, but an artillery, because you can't attack with comm towers, but you do kind of need an artillery to bust this guy open. I mean, you don't need it, but it's super, super helpful. So automatically, Days of Plague has to have an artillery on the field, which is one less tank, which is also a unit that does not really do too much damage to Javier. So nice. Meanwhile, <laughs> Javier can just build as many artillery as he wants because he's Javier and he just don't care. He don't care what the rules are. He's just like, I'm gonna build me some artillery. I'm gonna build me some battle copters. I'm gonna send my tank all the way to the middle of the map and I am gonna attack your full HP infantry with a 6 HP infantry. Why? Because I can. I can and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Except for destroy the infantry, which is sitting at 1 HP right now. <laughs> so, it is likely that guy's going to be destroyed. But, it's a fantastic little delay of this property here. I mean, 6 HP infantry is not really going to be overly effective for too long. Already is almost essential over here. Um, mainly because, well, one thing, obviously you bust open the pipe scene, but two, you defend this little section here. So, you're defending the comm tower and um it's such a it's such a narrow passageway that you can't really fight effectively with direct combat units so Artie's, like i said pretty much totally essential um but Artie's fighting javier that's the problem because <laughs> javier at the moment does have 30 percent defense when it comes to indirect so he's got can buy defense <laughs> against those indirects right now which is pretty rough um, nice little play over here by the Red James, actually destroying the 1 HP infantry, not really bothering to cap that, just uh, forming the wall, putting the artillery right here. Very strong position from that guy right there. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ooh, yeah. Tank can't hit it either, so that's even better. I mean, Tank wouldn't want to hit it because we got a tank right here. I mean, this guy can't reach though. Um, if it was possible to go for that hit, I would probably definitely go for it, but this guy is too far. It's too far. It's too far to go. He is going through the forest. And after a long day's trek across the Saskatchewan Plains, you reach a forest and you're just, you're done. You're done. You don't really want to be going any further than that. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, yeah. He just started capping the, the airport, so that makes sense. Okay, so Red Day's Plague got his airport. Beautiful. Very, 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 very nice. Very nice. Okay, we're going in for a shot on the artillery, taking it down to nine. This is going to result in the destruction of an infantry with uh, no real counterplay. Um, the only thing that is okay about this is if he decides to, like, push in with these infantry over here. So, like, attack, attack right here. Um, the artillery, while it could attack, it would also make it so you couldn't get a second hit on this inf- Oh wait, you know, you could. You can move there, obviously, and get a second hit on the infantry. It would open yourself up to another attack. Um, probably just keep this artillery right here. <laughs> I would just keep the artillery there, just tank another hit. And just, just go from there. Oh, what is this? This is some sketchy behavior over here. So, Days of Plague goes in from a forest, interrupts this cap right here. 
But that leaves him open for a tank strike from a city, because this guy can easily move off, and then boom, tank strike from a city? That's 40% defense for the Red James. That's like an HQ versus a two-star. It's going to be a rough one. Ooh, we're going for the Calm Tower hit. Oh, so we don't even go for the that strike. Okay, so we're going to continue the cap. That's fine. That's great, actually. You know what? So we do continue the cap. We have to... Um, this is great. It's fine. Um, this guy has a choice. You know, he can either attempt to delay the cap a little bit longer and die, or he can run away and probably die another day. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's his choices. That's what he's got. That's what he's working with right now. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So far, the income's even. I gotta get rid of that. Yeah, so far the income is even. So 18,700 for Sasha is the equivalent of 17 properties. So, Red Jams is attempting to go for quite a bit of properties. This one's guaranteed, so it will be at 18. This one is probably gonna go through. Because I don't really see this tank sticking around here. So, I, I could see that one going through. Unless he, like, moves this infantry to go and attack it, but that's just losing two units at that point. Um, Days of Plague got a nice little chunk of slimes over here though just uh moving steadily closer to that comm tower uh with the anti-air here though they would not be able to get all the way there so red james is definitely pretty smart using the anti-air or building the anti-air so he oh actually so days of play decides to jump off of the city and attack this guy so he's gonna delay the property that way maybe he'll bring the tank back at this point and like come back another day i mean we do delay that city by like another like day or so maybe two days okay we're gonna we're gonna bring the tank back to the battle copter okay cool um this is a good position or more or less i mean Generally, it's nice to get your units like into this little canal right here where the beaches are so that they're able to either attack over here or start attacking the mid or possibly rush the HQ. So that is a strong spot to be for sure. Uh, Red James has finally busted open his pipe team, so these guys are going to start rushing out here very, very soon. Oh, yeah, there they go, there they go. Ooh, Red James is going in. Look at that. Holy mackerel. Okay, let's do a replay of that one. That was a that was a nasty little chain of events. Look at this. So he caps the property, goes in, 70% damage to an infantry. Double hit right there. Falls it up with another double hit and gets the KO. Cause luck. <laughs> That's luck. That's luck for you. And then the tank moves in, finishes the job. Finishes the job. Takes that 5 HP tank out. Anti-air moving right here. Taking out another infantry. Now this does put it into artillery mech range right here. Which is kind of sketchy. But if this infantry... Where did this infantry go? Yeah, so we go up and attack the mech. So we eliminate the mech from the equation. Which is super good. Super good. Now it doesn't completely eliminate the mech from the equation because we can still artillery blast here, then we can copter the infantry, then we can move in with the mech, which would probably, I think that would be, if it's not a guaranteed kill, it's super, super close. Close to the point where the second copter would be able to come in and finish the job for sure. Which would be a great position for Days of Plague, because that would leave us with two copters versus no anti-air and no response over here, which would be beyond good. Beyond good. We do got to worry about over here, though, because uh, Red Jim is pushing up hard with these units right now. So artillery is definitely going to have to pull back. Going to have to sort of rethink our defenses over here. And 
yeah, and Red or Days of Plague is actually kind of suffering for time. So unfortunately, this is one thing that I do notice from Days of Plague games is he does take a long time to make some of his moves, especially some of the early moves. Um, and when you take a long time to use your or to do your early moves, you lose a lot of time later on when a, when more of the attacks are way more critical to the overall outcome of the game, so to speak. So, yeah, one thing with Red James is he does get those moves done very quickly. So he tends to have a lot of time. So he does a little bit of a different play than what I was expecting over here, too. So, he attacks... He attacks the tank. I mean, the tank is threatening. I don't think that that's, like, the most threatening thing, though. Like, I... Th like, I think that we gotta... We gotta, like, blast this guy. Blast this out. Attack with mech. Follow with copter. Then we have two fresh copters to chase down the middle units over here, too. Um, because we do have, like, an anti-air coming here. But if we... If we eliminate the anti-air right here, these guys can't push up anywhere. And then two copters can just like just harass the heck out of these guys for like several turns and I mean like he can't bust the pipe seam open fast enough I mean anti-air could go down here and go into the mid but that's still like two or three days where you would have like pure you would just be able to overrun the center with these two copters here and I mean if the anti-air goes up you could respond with tank over here and cut it off as well so um, but either way, I mean, is what it is. The mech could go and finish off the tank. I mean, 2 HP anti-air is not really going to do too much, but anti-air could run away and get back up from another anti-air, and then you just have two anti-airs to deal with later. Alright, so we're going with Market Crash, so we're not going to be having any coup powers. The old Javier, no coup powers for you, sir. Although Javier with a three bar co-power, uh, it is likely that he will be able to get his co-power um, pretty quickly. You know, it doesn't really take Javier too long to bank up some charge here. Um, and currently, once again, we are even on property. So there's not really anything significantly different about both of the players at the moment. But at the moment, I do think I favor Days of Plague over here quite a bit. Oh, and yeah, if you look at the income, or uh, overall income, it's like 85000 to 58000 So Red Jim definitely suffering a little bit, but I mean, Javier is a beast. He's an absolute unit. So I think like a tactical retreat here. Oh, we can't reach the HQ. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't reach the HQ, but what we can do is we can reach this city. So I mean... Get rid of the infantry block around city. Bring this guy over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Bring here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the copter would still be able to take out the anti-air if it was sitting there. Mmm, that's a little bit. That's a little sketchy. A little sketchy. So Red James is committing. <laughs> he's more or less he's committing over here. I mean, it's not like a full commit. We did a little bit of a little bit of cleanup session over here by the looks of it, right? Just cleaned up a couple injured infantry, just getting them out of here. Don't want to be dealing with them. Very good. Now I just want to see what he's gonna do over here because okay, so he brings the anti-air up here. He's cut off though, so he can't really do can't really push over here with that so let's see what we see what see what happens here okay so we bring it back we're bringing it back <laughs> beautiful um actually we have like an infantry cop to destroy on that and then we can continue to harass the infantry here and it would also probably guarantee us the capture of this property as well so days of blink's got options 
Okay. Um, that's fine. I mean, that's not like... Not anything like crazy. We get to capture right here, so that's good. These guys are like uncontested in the center. Plus, Days of Plague's got two battle copters coming over here on this side too. So, yeah, center control is massive on this map. So if we get control of the center, then we basically control the game. And, I mean, Days of Plague is a better player than me, <laughs> like, overall. So, I mean, like, you know, if he thinks these moves are really good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. And I'm gonna say that he's probably right. But, you know, I just, I just like doing things my own way sometimes. I like speculating on what's going on. <laughs> That's all. Alright, so carrying on with the game. Um, yeah, those Coptos. Coptos in the middle, man. Oh, Javier, we are going for a tower. We are attempting to cap the tower. What a bold move. Oh, and the Artie moves up. Oh, that's this is a dirty push. Look at this push. <laughs> oh, my God. Fantastic little push here. Um, like, we're almost forced to use... I mean, we can interrupt it with the anti-air. But then that leaves a copter. He's got a copter here, but then we have a copter here. Uh, indirect's not really going to do too much. That's a sticky situation. Okay. Day 13 and Days of Plague. It's his turn. What is he going to do here? So we eliminate the battle copter. Or was it an infantry? Yeah, that was an infantry. We eliminate the infantry, eliminate the battle copter, and we have power. So we are going to be seeing a power very, very soon. And we eliminate a tank, or almost eliminate a tank, and then we mark a crash. Mark a crashing now for the extra damage, I guess, on the infantry. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. classy boys entered the fray. Beautiful stuff, Days of Play. Beautiful stuff. You love to see it. You love to see the little slime medium tank up here. It's beautiful. Alright. Continuing on to cap some more properties and moving the infantry down. So this is a good counter push. Good counter push indeed. Um, how much charge do we need? 12,000? I don't know if we have 12,000. We might have 12,000. I don't think we do. We might not. No, I don't think we do. And if we do... I mean... Well, maybe. I don't know. Like, we might be able to get it. We might be able to get a couple shots here with the artillery. We've got a copter strike over here. Uh, not really much else, though. So, we'll see. We'll see. Going for that copter strike. Okay. Going for the mech... Destroy, going for the tank destroy, going for the tank hit, and we got the co-power. Nice. 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 There we go. We got a tower shield. That is a massive boost to the firepower and defense over here from the Red James. And he moves in and infantry just casually attacks a battle copter, because why not? Why not? What's that battle copter gonna do? Nothing. It's got nothing. This is basically can buy over here. And we got another battle copter, another anti-air, and a couple more infantry on the field. Beauty. Um, 27 units, so a little bit behind in the unit count, and a little bit behind when it comes to the overall fun game now. Because Days of Plague is now sitting at 19 properties. So, yeah. That's the thing. We are going to be sitting at 20 properties, actually, because once we cap this... 20 properties and that's a huge boost once we hit 20 properties as Sasha it's a massive boost to income because that's actually two extra thousand gold every single turn it's like two infantry two extra infantry every single turn or like you know buy like more classy medium tanks and be super cool we even got a rocket build over here from days of plague which is pretty interesting pretty interesting look at this guy this is sitting at 9. It will be sitting at 7. With an infantry on it. 
Uh, and we bust open. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. Oh, I wonder, wonder, what's a wonder bar? Is it a comm tower? It might be. Who knows? Find out. Find out if he gets the comm tower. Next Saturday morning. Okay. What does he have? What does he have? He's got options. Days of Plague is on increment, too. So, like, his moves are going to be incredibly fast, and unfortunately, when you start playing on increment, you start playing sloppy. I mean, it happens to all of us. I played on increment many, many times, and um, I've definitely questioned my existence <laughs> many, many, many times on increment. Just like, ah, why'd I do that? Ah. It's pressure of the clock, folks. But Red James has nine minutes. He has tons and tons of time to think his moves out and plan accordingly. Um, Battlecopters are definitely the way to go at this point, too. They're incredibly fast. They're not hindered by the massive terrain on this map. Like, Battlecopters are insanely powerful. Uh, yeah. And, like, Days of Plague is starting to sort of suffer in his Battlecopter counts as well. Like, a lot of them, and they're sitting out of two. If they go in and attack, they can be easily destroyed by a single infantry. Um, or you can sacrifice two of them to eliminate one of the Battlecopters, which is fantastic. And then you can Market Crash, which is also pretty cool. Then you can go in with two more. And then you can attack a Calm Tower. <laughs> oh no, he got the attack and it's a KO. It's a KO. The dreams of the Calm Tower. Double Calm Tower, Javier. The dreams are over for now. He wasn't able to get it, but this sacrifice is a medium tank, though. It's a double arty shot, which is pretty big. I mean, honestly, that's pretty big. I mean, even if you have to eat a like a rocket shot, I mean, you take out a classy medium tank. And that is quite the loss for Days of Plague. Like, there's a lot of money sunk into that medium tank. It's, it was destined for great things. <clears throat> and it's potentially going to be shot down right here. Oh, Battlecopter could finish. Nope. Okay, so the classy medium tank gets to live for one more day. At 3 HP. But we start another cap. So now... Like, Days of Plague is going to have to once again focus the Calm Tower. Because if you let Javier get a second Calm Tower, that is basically GG right there. Like, it's so difficult to fight a 120% offense and defense character that also has an extra 20% defense when it comes to indirects. <laughs> it's just... That's 140% defense for indirects and... 20% for everything else. 120%. Um, yeah, like, look at that. It only does 4 damage. Ooh, takes it down to 1. Ooh, takes it down to 1. Takes it down to 1. Now it's feeling the hurt. It's honestly feeling the hurt. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, it happened again. It happened again. He went up and he tried and it failed. It's so unfortunate. So unfortunate to see. Uses the market crash at a very good moment here. Definitely uh, right before we buy all our stuff. That's <laughs> what you got to do, folks. This is one of the issues when it comes to uh, playing on increment, too. You can easily make a mistake with your power when you're playing a sash, too. Um, but. Days of Plague, once again, is in a very good position. We are threatening caps on multiple properties on this side. And we are getting very, very close to that HQ. The issue is, got no anti-air. Now, if we had some anti-air, <laughs> things would be pretty cool over here. Because we wouldn't have to worry about any battle cops just coming out here. But we don't have any anti-air. So... We got problems. We do got some problems here. The other problem is the Red James has 7 minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. And he can once again think out his moves quite or quite well. 
And yeah, we take. Oh, look! Would you, would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Are we gonna get the comp tower? <laughs> oh my God! Look at this guy. And I played against Red James multiple times. Like, I played Days of Plague, like, a couple times as well. And Red James is, like, such a good player. He's such a good player. Days of Plague is an amazing player, too. Um, like, 100%. 100%. Especially in async, you know? He can, like, do some crazy stuff in async. Just, I think just live, you know? It's just the, the time counter really gets to him. But at the moment, both players are running pretty low on time. So Red James is very, very close to reaching that increment as well. But, as you guys can see here, we have one attack that can reach the comm tower. And that's the indirect rocket shot. Which is not going to be a KO. And then we have nothing else to clear the way. Now we could attack this. Uh, maybe, like... I mean, we could anti. Okay, we could take this out. We could maybe take this out. Big maybe. But then we can only take one more unit out and we have no shot in the comm tower. Like, Javier has acquired double comm tower. Or never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's, let's look at that again. This is pretty smart. I like this. Okay. So, what's the sequence here? So, anti air. Battlecopter, medium tank. Then we use the rocket to destroy the 1 HP. And then we use the anti-air to push it. See, this is why this is why Days of Plague is a higher rated player than me. <laughs> see, that was a that was a really good sequence to actually see, especially when you're low on time. Like, maybe people see the sequence, like, immediately, but I didn't see it this way for sure. But that was a great, great little break right there. Um, we do got to worry about, um, definitely got to worry about counterattack. But for the time being, we do save the tower for a little bit longer. And, like, the push on the left-hand side here is going pretty good. Pretty good. These guys are pushing it, and we got the anti-air got the anti-air so I'm feeling pretty good about that push over there now and once we kind of smother this side the HQ was so close over here that days of plague might be able to actually acquire the HQ like get a big old sneaky cap on that HQ now we join cap over here though so this guy's sitting at six we already know that a rocket can only do four damage to this. So unless we get a double hit on this comm tower now, the comm tower is acquired. <laughs> it could happen, folks. It could happen. Oh, and we destroy the battle comm. <gasps> and we destroy the rockets. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. And we get the tower shield. Oh, my God. Com Tower acquired to Tower Javier incoming, folks. This is going to be brutal. Uh, we might lose this Com Tower, but probably not. But so, in the meantime, we have a two Com Tower Javier. Now, this is a two Com Tower Javier at the expense of massive income lost. Days of Plague. That was 22 properties to 17 for the Red James. Which is quite a bit of difference. <laughs> quite a bit of difference. Um, Days of Plague could easily start like pumping out them stinky boys or something. Or just more Battlecopters. Yeah, more Battlecopters. <laughs> Need more Battlecopters on the field. That's what we gotta do. Oh god, okay, so... Day 1 of two tower javier and what are we going to be able to accomplish oh and we accomplish the secure of our own comm tower beautiful stuff Ooh, there's a nasty push all right that comm tower is not acquired i think maybe instead of going for the comm tower we probably should have just considered maybe going for the hq might have been I don't know if it would have made, like, a huge difference, but... 
I mean, maybe go for your win condition at that point. I'm not sure. Okay. Carrying on. Uh, Red James, 29 units, 21. Definitely ahead now. But... Days of Plague really just has to hold on to his properties. If he holds on to his properties, he'll be perfectly fine. He's got, like... <clears throat> 11 days. 11 days to hold on to your properties. Which is quite a long time. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's a long time, but... It's possible to do it. Like, you have a massive income lead, start spamming out battle cop, like, double battle cop to turn, triple tank turn, you know. Um, even double tank, like, anti-air turns. Just start pumping them out, put them into the middle of the map, just start beating up both sides. It could be possible to hold on to the properties for sure. But, like I said, Red James is a good player. He's a really good player, and he would probably maybe be able to find a workaround for something like that, especially when you have 120% units just roaming around the field. But, like I said, Days of Plague, fantastic player as well. He might be able to spot something. But, uh, the push on the left-hand side of the map is definitely done at this point. Uh, that's not going to really be able to continue, and we have threat of the HQ over here, and threat of the base. We have okay, we have a we have a base lock, like 100% base lock right here. The only way that this isn't a base lock um, is if you build like a mega tank. <laughs> I think. Um, well, no, a neo tank won't fall to. Well, maybe it will. I don't know. Okay, it's potential that a Neo tank might fall to um, anti-air, anti-air, battlecopter, and maybe even like an an artillery, artillery, battlecopter, and then maybe even tank and or anti-air. It's definitely possible. Day twenty. Days of Plague has reacquired one property. Okay, so we're gonna base lock ourselves to take out the battlecopter. I don't hate it. I don't hate the idea. We eliminate one of the immediate battlecopters that are right here, so we we're gonna get hit by two things right here. We're gonna get hit by two guys, which will probably KO the anti-air. We might get surrounded. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so Red, or Days of Plague takes out an additional tank. He uses the market crash because we definitely don't want to have a cap started with uh, all that defense. Reacquires another property. It brings the medium tank back. So I'm very, very happy with our good, classy friend up here. He has survived, and he's running away to get some heals, because he's hungry, and he's tired, so he needs to rest until he's good to come back. <laughs> so, fantastic boy. I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him for surviving this long. Um, unfortunately, we're about to lose a base. Um, yeah, that is a... That is very unfortunate. <laughs> that is very, very, very unfortunate for Days of Plague. Um, yeah, if we acquire this base, it's yeah, that's done. <laughs> that is a hundred percent done. If we acquire this base, this is okay. This is honestly like the nastiest base capture, because like. He can't, he can't break it. Like, there's no possible way to break it at all. It's like, you, you could destroy the Battlecopter with the tank. Battlecopter can't reach. Um, one, two, three, four, five. You could potentially attack Battlecopter to tank, but it won't do 70% damage. Not against 120% defense. Yeah, we lost it. We lost the base. Oh, boy. <laughs> we build the bomber. Nice. Okay. Got the classy boy of the skies up here. And this classy boy came back. He was like, you know what, guys? I don't need a rest. I know. I know I'm needed. I'm needed on the front line, guys. I know I'm injured, but just let me go. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to do it for you guys at home. 
in the Azure Asteroid section of the universe. And the base is acquired. And another property acquired. Oh my god. And an HQ. And an HQ. Oh lordy 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 lordy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So bomber can interrupt. Bomber can definitely interrupt this HQ cap. But this is pretty big. This is pretty big. Cause it only does 40% damage. Because once again, that's Javier, two tower Javier on an HQ, that is 60% defense <laughs> for that unit. So, yeah, that's a tough one. Okay, day 22, Red James' turn. We don't have an answer to the bomber, but we have a full surround and a join cap. Like, is that what we're gonna be seeing? We're gonna, we are gonna be seeing a full surround and a join cap and a tower shield and a missile and a missile by. Oh my god. Would you just look at it? And then I think, uh, Days of Plague. Just ended turn, yeah. He just ended turn and he's allowing the capture of the HQ. Beautiful sportsmanship from the Days of Plague right there. Wow, what a match. I mean, like, both of these players played incredibly well. Uh, but, I mean, this, like, multi, multi-turn attempt to get this comm tower. Like, how many turns was this? Was this? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven turn capture of the comm tower. Holy moly. Just beautiful. Congratulations to Red James for the victory today. That was definitely an entertaining one. And I wish you luck on your climb to number one. Hopefully you reach it. And Days of Plague, fantastic game. Always a pleasure to watch your games, man. You are a fantastic player. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one at home. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one, so take care of yourselves, and bye-bye for now.